Welcome to Horribly Drawn History. Today we're going to be looking at Simo Hauha, the White Death. When you think of the most prominent military figures in the world, who comes to mind? Maybe Napoleon Bonaparte? Perhaps Chris Kyle? Well, in terms of confirmed kills, that title belonged to Simo Hauha, aka the White Death. Hauha was a sniper during the Winter War, which was an invasion of the Soviet Union into Finland, home of the Finns and this stuff which I'm not even going to try and pronounce. The war began on November 30th, 1939, when the Soviets launched an invasion into Finland with an army of over half a million troops. Now, if you paid attention to history class, you know about the expertise of Russians fighting in snow. This trait played out to the advantage of the Russians during Hitler's march into the Soviet Union during World War II and Napoleon's failed invasion of Russia. However, the Russians were just children playing around in the snow compared to the Fens and their Yeti-like personalities. Because of their home field advantage, the Fens were able to hold off an army of about 590,000 troops, 2,514 tanks, and 3,880 aircraft. With a mere 300,000 troops, 32 tanks, and 114 aircraft for three and a half months. They used many guerrilla-style tactics. One of, if not the most efficient user of these tactics, was the very own Sima Hala. With a confirmed kill count of over 500 kills, about 503 to be exact, this man used the following tactics to fend off against the invading Russians. He freezing snow around his position to ensure that it wouldn't fly around after he fired his rifle. He also put snow in his mouth to get rid of any signs of his breathing in the cold air. And third, he placed gloves under his rifle to dampen the, the kick from firing his weapon. And many more tactics which gave him the name Death. Despite his many close calls, including receiving a severe vase injury towards the end of the war, the sniper lived to the ripe age of 96 before passing away in 2002. Thanks to Sima Hadha and the rest of the tough fighting Finns, Finland lost only 11% of its territory to the much larger Soviet Union and embarrass the Soviets in the global eye. Thank you for watching, everybody. This is the first episode of Horribly Drawn History. I look forward to seeing all of you in the near future, and uh, thank you for watching, and have a good day.